Great win, really excited. Um, that's a talented team and tough. It's funny what, what can happen early in the season, you know. Um, wasn't a thing of, of, of beauty, but I thought once we get settled into the game, our guys really set the tone. Um, and, and they gave us everything they got to get back into it, which that's what Steve's teams do. They're tough mentally and physically. Uh, but our guys never, never got too, too, too down. And we just kept telling them, keep punching away, keep chopping wood. And um, you know, the, the great thing about it was it was such a united effort, contributions from so many people. Um, and that's what our team has to do. And I know people out there might expect us to play everybody on every night. And if somebody doesn't, it's not because he's in trouble. It's because we've got a lot of weapons. And so we've got to sell our guys on buying into that. Don't read any of the nonsense that other people outside of our locker room write because you didn't get in the game. Be ready the next time. And then and if we can continue to build that early in the season, then I really think depth's going to be a strength of ours. So excited. Go Beavs. Question, sir. Yes. You try to spring into those moments late in the game like that. What gives you the confidence to take those shots in pressure situations? Uh, I think maybe just being in you know, situations like that before, uh, just always coaches tell us stay ready, stay confident. Uh, that was one thing that we talked about at halftime. Um, so staying confident with everything, being ready to come out and play. Uh, but I do credit a lot of it to my teammates, you know. Uh, I don't think a lot of them were really off the dribble. They were, they were spot ups. Uh, so they were able to suck in the D and I was, you know, able to get free. So it's nice playing with playmakers uh, that can get me easy shots. And Zach, uh, obviously Iowa State comes back and, and takes the lead on you guys or ahead of you under that seven minute mark. What really kind of changed from that point forward? Uh, you know, basketball is a game of runs, so they're going to go on their runs, we're going to go on ours. But I think uh, our defense, you know, we let them uh, get a little out of hand there in the middle of the second half, and then we finally came in and walked in on D, so I thought that was a big difference. Wayne, in, in both halves, they had a 15 to 4 run, and you guys responded both times. Is this kind of a sign of a team that's really grown and, and knows how to bounce back? When they it's hard to say if it's a sign two games in, but. Um, uh, I think we have that ability for sure. I think that's a valid point. I think we've got the ability. We don't want to give up those kind of runs, but we've got the kind of talent, I think, and, and that can make a run ourselves. And that's a, that's a really good team. I mean, they won the Big 12 tournament a year ago, and uh, five of those guys were big contributors. So um, you've got to expect that. Now, we'll watch the film, and, and a lot of it was what they did, but a lot of it was our breakdowns. When we'd hit, we hit a big three, and then in transition, we let them throw it up the floor and bang a three. And we got lost a lot in transition, but so we didn't make it easy on ourselves. But they're, they're really good. They're really disciplined. We took a couple of their best punches and, and found a way to, to close the door on them. So I think moving forward, this will be, this will be big for us. You won that game at the three-point line. Do you think that will be typical of this team? Uh, today it was. Uh, that's one of the better th – Percentages, I think maybe we've shot since I've been here. Um, it's a weapon. You know, we, we, we were confident going into this year because we didn't shoot it as well in the last couple of years when we thought we had a good shooting team. This year we've got more weapons. And like Trey said, it's not necessarily how we're running our stuff or what, but the fact that we've got players out there, they can't guard all of them with if we execute our stuff. And Zach hit a couple of big ones. Jared hit a big one off the bench. Obviously, Trace got it going early. Ethan hit one, you know, uh, midway through their run. So we've got guys that are capable. Do we want to settle for all those all night long? No, but that's pretty efficient. So tonight, it was a plus of our uh, plus for us. Zach, Kelly got a couple of dunks there and was really excited about mm -hmm. it. And then after the game, you guys were really you seemed really pumped you were all celebrating the mm -hmm. court um did that win mean a lot to you guys i mean yeah i mean everyone you know means a lot to us so but i was just glad uh you know how we responded when they when they got going and you know, everything goes well when you're celebrating your teammates so i thought we did that really well today you know when someone else got going you know we were all encouraging each other so uh, when you play like that and you know you turn on your teammates that's a really fun way to win Kyler just looks like a, a different guy on the offensive end. He looks like he's confident. He looked like today he wanted the ball. I mean, is that what you're seeing from the two games for, in? Yeah, for sure. Um, we, we've, we've noticed that over the course of last spring, the summer, into the fall. Uh, he hasn't put on a lot of size, but he's gotten stronger. Um, but I think the leadership from his teammates encouraging him all offseason long, that what, I think he wasn't sure what he was capable of. 
And now he's starting to understand that and be good with it. Because it's one thing to understand it, but sometimes it makes guys a little nervous of it. And I think he's at that point where he's really accepting what's in front of him because of his work and his potential. And his teammates have been great. Trace has been one guy that's been on him that we need you. We need you. You're going to have to contribute for us. And then following it up with pats on the butt and that sort of thing. And I think it's got him in the skin that he's in now. He's really comfortable with what he needs to do for us night in and night out. So it's, it's obviously great to see. I actually thought we should have thrown it in more to him today. Um, but, th but that'll come, you know, as uh, he continues to get stronger and in better condition. Wayne, can you talk a little bit about the atmosphere out there? Oh, it was great. I, I haven't looked um, um, attendance. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's, that's pretty good this early in the year. Um, you know, I, we chose to play this game in the afternoon thinking we could feed off of the football crowd, uh, plus to give ourselves a little bit of rest before Tuesday night's game. But I, I thought the environment for this early in the year was great. And gosh dang it, let, let, let's, not, let's not drop from here. I mean, when this place is nuts, our team plays at a different level. So um, appreciate those that came out, and I encourage those that didn't come support this team. It's a hell of a group. Thanks, guys. Go Beavs!